Pedalers, what's good? Courtesy of Lay on the Pedal LLC. We're at 3rd Street and Grand Avenue, downtown Laramie. Show you what we're working with here. So I want to say it's the same thing. This was probably made in the 90s. You know what I'm saying? We got this light here. Um, I want to say it had to be made at the same time as that one down the street. But it's going to be the same concept as downtown. So you're not going to see any pedestrian buttons on it. Um, I mean, you got one traffic light each way. There's like two lanes uh, going northbound on Grand 3rd Street, uh, eastbound on Grand Avenue, and a couple lanes going southbound on 3rd Street. Um, we're looking, so it's got about, I want to say 16 seconds. It gives you about 11 seconds to walk across the street. So deductive reasoning, I was able to make it across the street. The only thing I would consider though is like how many people are turning left to go south on 3rd Street. I recommend already uh, the traffic that's either going westbound on Grand Avenue or southbound on 3rd Street. What y'all need to have is an arrow. Like let's say for example, if someone like me or multiple people is walking on this side of the street, then they have to wait and you know might not all of them might make it might not make it through the street so um that's something to definitely consider if you're at this traffic light um but what i do like already is i do see that y'all have a turn right arrow which is real good uh that's to go parallel in conjunction with this adjacent so like when people are turning onto grand avenue you have that you have that traffic moving steady that way. So I do like that. That's pretty rare to see on an older style traffic light for sure. So I give you props on that for sure. Um, I mean, with this, you can see it's got the, uh, I want to say it's like based off the trapezoid back, but it's got the dots. Like I talk about kind of focuses off, but, and uh, hmm, I can tell right now the arrow going grand avenue it's not quite enough not quite enough i say maybe a couple extra seconds on that so but i mean in terms of flow of traffic going that way i'll get to that later but all the traffic should kind of depend on these two traffic lights down there i think this one down here too even if it's on a timer you should at least have it depend on this seems to be the main intersection of these few lights even there's a traffic light down there too but everything should stem from this intersection right here just because this is this is where it happens it's grand avenue this is you know highway um highway 30 this will lead you to state interstate 80 you know so it's it's a good thoroughfare too so um, what we're about to do, enough analyzing after in a second. Uh, I like how they updated everything. You got the, the flat small backs. So um, when you go down here, they've updated those to bigger lights. That looks pretty, that as well as these, it looks like they did that at the same time roughly. So we're gonna try walking across the street. They give you 11 seconds going this way. Um, again, like I said, two lanes going this way. So that's cool. Uh, I could say this could use maybe 12 to 15 seconds. I think the, the yellow's cool. Uh, we're gonna walk around this way as well. Thank you. Um, alignment's as good as it can be. I mean, you're a small town, so 11 seconds going this way, but you see what I'm talking about. I'm holding up traffic and uh, see what has to happen now is they're turning and they still gotta turn too. So, I mean, it's kind of tough to have a turn arrow for this side because it's like you know they only have one lane so i mean it's not going to really work regardless oh let me show you the the turn arrow on that so it's a pretty short turn arrow about five seconds which i mean it works if it's like late at night and there's not a lot of people but if there's a lot of people such as there is right here um you need about you need at least like 10 seconds i feel like to get through that but i mean this light is re very quick too so with that being said i mean at least the cycle's quick enough so it doesn't really make a difference um we're gonna try to see some of the behavior of this traffic light and some more of the traffic patterns 
you got people walking this way which is cool there's no traffic this way but they're still they're coming up they're gonna have to wait a bit so that'd be my only recommendation is uh maybe a turn arrow going this way i'd say and if y'all want to make that five seconds that's up to y'all i mean granted it does cycle quick so no one's really waiting here all day to turn the corner you feel me so i don't know why this state patrol just went that's interesting so i mean you could either go straight or you could turn left from what i'm seeing here so i don't know how i really feel about the traffic engineering on that um, I understand people need to go through, but at the same time, um, that kind of holds traffic up for no reason. But then again, it is a small town. I'm here at like almost lunchtime. So it might be something to consider, but that's up to y'all to be honest. But uh, that's all I, about, I gotta say on this one, you know, pretty standard. We're gonna head to this one next, which is gonna be 4th Street and Grand Avenue. All right, I'll catch y'all there.